Christmas. Reminds you of the time when you were younger, when times were simpler, you didn't have to worry about all of the stuff that comes with being an adult. You can kind of just enjoy a day with your family, get a lot of gifts. Yeah, you kind of wish that this kind of thing could last forever and that this thing can keep happening, but uh, as you get older, you kind of realize that that's just not going to ever happen again. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So yeah, it's Christmas time guys, and uh, you know, I thought I'd go ahead and make a video because uh, I'm pretty sure that you get paid more during this time, which uh, I'll be honest, I don't run ads on my videos, only the ones that are copyrighted, so I guess I'm not really getting any money out of this. But as you all know, I don't really care about that because I'm free to play and uh, I don't really need money for anything really. But anyways, I thought I'd go ahead and make a video uh, going over Kind of just the year of Honkai Star Rail and what I kind of thought about it because it's basically toward the end of the year. Now as you guys can probably tell today, uh, I took a lot of my vitamins and pills and uh, you know I'm really hyped up uh, for this Christmas uh, special. So yeah, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to kind of just figure it out as I go because uh, there's no content in this game currently. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and take a look at all the comments. Uh, that I got in my last video and maybe a few other comments uh, because I think they're pretty important and uh, a lot of them have good information in them so let's go ahead and take a look here. Now guys if you thought I was going to go ahead and read the comments you're completely wrong I won't be doing that I'm going to hire like an AI to do it um, I would get a voice actor but uh, I rather not pay them so I'm really tired of seeing Natasha being used as a DPS because she is much better for shielding instead I prefer to use Herta when there is a single unit boss, she deals massive, single target damage. Gotta love using Yan Qing with her big penis. Raiden Shogun is probably the best unit RN really recommend her in the late and early. So yeah, I just thought I'd go ahead and share this comment here. Uh, I thought it was uh, very insightful. You no, know, I never actually thought of using Natasha uh, for her shielding. Maybe it's like a secret ability, I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm not too sure who Herta is, uh, but it sounds like she's a really good single target uh, DPS, which that's nice. I'm sure that this guy has used uh, used him a lot. He's just flexing his knowledge on the game right here with Yang and Raiden Shogun. You know, you know, I think he knows exactly what he's talking about with Honkai Star Rail. He seems to be very knowledgeable about this game. I would have no clue because I don't play this game. Let's go on to the next comment. As a meta slave, I think this is a very logical tier list with definitely a lot of thought put into it. So yeah, you know, I mean, this guy obviously knows what he's talking about. Um, he's a very high tier player. I hope that maybe you learned something from it. Maybe you didn't and you just agree with me blindly. And honestly, I'm kind of down for you to do that. So so glad someone called Branya out for not being able to solo Mosir, regardless of her buffing and QQ's gambling being illegal. This tier list is absolutely GOAT. And I want to go ahead and thank Vibe Along here for... Uh, you know, kind of reinforcing what I said here, you know, it's very easy to just say that Bronya is the best unit uh, in the game just because she buffs and all that. I don't think people really think about like, hey, uh, can Bronya actually solo MOC? I don't think anybody really thinks about that. And, you know, it's just one of those unique ways that I think about this game. Gambling being legal. I mean, I'm glad that this guy agrees. And, you know, we hate gambling here. So that's why we play this gotcha game. Um, thank you very much for the comment. Let's go on to the next one. 10 to 10 to tire list. Only thing I'd change is putting Sampo S tear. I think maybe I misclicked and I think I placed Sampo a little too low. I mean, he's pretty funny. I don't know if he's S tier to be honest, but I mean, maybe I made a mistake on that. Now I will say this, I won't be changing it because I know people who got tattoos of that tier list on their body, uh, specifically their arm and maybe their head um, and maybe their forehead. I'd rather not change it, um, even though I'm, I might be a little wrong, but anyways, uh, thank you for the comment, appreciate it. I think Wilt is very overrated. Other than healing, she doesn't really provide much. Plus you need at least 400 speed to make her useful. So yeah. WTF is bro yapping about. Yeah, and I just want to go ahead and thank this guy. Um, you know, I didn't know Wilt was a she. I thought Wilt was a, was a him the whole time. But you know, I'm not going to sit here and you know, uh, dunk on somebody for their pronouns or whatever because uh, I don't really want to. I'm not really that deep into the lore, so maybe somewhere uh, well uh, becomes a she, or maybe he's always been a she, I'm not too sure. But uh, I want to go ahead and thank you for uh, 
for clearing that up and um, the healing and the 400 speed on him you know I think you know he he might have a point here um, I would like to contest though that uh well is probably one of the best units in the game regardless of that because I mean what unit don't you need 400 speed on and uh, healing uh, I don't think healing is even that important in this game uh, I run DPS Natasha as you might know so uh, maybe Marvel Shelf is a little new here and uh, that's completely fine. Uh, I want to go ahead and let you guys know that every single person that exists in my comment section, uh, except a few people, uh, they're usually very smart. And uh, I want to go ahead and let you guys know that every single one of them are professors uh, in their own field, uh, except a few of them. Uh, but I do respect your comment and thank you for your insightful information uh, on this matter. Okay, first of all, I am sorry, but I feel like you don't play the game, since you put literally the best preservation unit in Sludge Second of all, Drago is the best healer and Bronia is also the best support you can possible get. He has a point though, Bronia can solo mock. Definitely a bad unit. I agree. March definitely does not deserve to be put in Sludge Tire. Now I want to go ahead and let this guy know that everything that he just said was uh, completely wrong and uh, honestly I'm not too sure why you're under this comment section uh, just giving us all this false information um, as you can see from the rest of the comments that I just read uh, we're all very well aware and we're all very uh, knowledgeable of this game and I'm not too sure why you're saying that uh, the preservation unit which I'm guessing is the one unit that I said that if you like them you probably like watching paint dry and eating it as well um, but that's just my opinion you know just like that's your opinion even though yours is wrong uh, Hugh Hugh uh, I'm pretty sure that's the person that I put in jail um, so there isn't really a tier on it so you can kind of just take that however you want to uh, just keep in mind that if you do use that unit you will be put in jail tier as well. I would like to go ahead and comment on his Bronya comment that he commented in this comment section. I want to go ahead and let you know Jay, maybe you should talk to Vibe along. Uh, I think he had a very good understanding of the ability that Bronya has to not clear MOC. I'm, I'm glad that somebody in my comment section is kind of educating the uh, uneducated, you know. And uh, thank you for that Vibe, I appreciate it. You're doing a very amazing job and I'd like to go ahead and just give you a heart and a comment or not even a comment, but I'm gonna give you a like too. If you wanna go ahead and be featured in one of these videos, uh, I might just do them at the end of the year, or maybe I'll do them monthly, I don't know. Um, but I'll go ahead and you know make sure I make a video. Um, I'm just going over all the comments that I get. I do like giving you guys attention uh, because I know a lot of you lack it. And uh, you know, without you guys, uh, there would be zero people watching this video. And you know, that's a very good thing to think about. Um, but anyways, uh, hope you guys have a great Christmas. Okay, bye.